The person you see on his own webcam is called Ferran, and I'm going to be spending a week trying to disrupt his scams while the police catch up with him. Okay, and do you do online banking? He's very interested in online banking because he wants to work out just how much money each of his victims has. Then he will get them to buy gift cards, but more about this in just a second. Ferran is the closer in a pop-up scam. On screen is an example of one of those pop-ups. If you're familiar with this channel, you'll know that these messages are fake, but nevertheless malicious. Important security message. Your computer has been locked up. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. Ferran acts as closer in these scams because he has a particularly good American accent. And from one of the files on his computer, I can tell he was always good at English in school. With maths, not so much. But his real talent is scamming. All right, uh, I'm asking you that did you use your card online as well today? Somewhere? Let me look. Let me think. Card Please check no. it. Anywhere, by any chance, did you do that? I didn't use my card online today. Okay. You didn't do that, right? How many times do I have to answer the same question? The reason why I'm asking you about this... My car, I did not use my card online today. Okay, you let me tell you... Sentence? Yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I do. Let me tell you why I was asking you about it regularly. The reason was because I can see that there is one charge for $10,000 that is posted on your account here. You know what? I'm calling the FBI. This is a scam. See, this is a, there's a charge for $10,000 which is on your account right now. And I, I wanted account? to just confirm what it. Uh, it is what from your account? Chase card. It is from your Chase card, sir, and uh, this well, charge I, has I been made today it online. I didn't see the ch well, I'm going to call Chase and talk to them about that. I'm not going to talk to you. Yeah. Or are, are, so, are you Chase? We are Chase, sir. We are Chase. I told you already that we are Chase. And we are just trying to take care of this situation for you so that we are able to take care of this. Now, you said you have not used this card anywhere online today in the morning, right? That is correct. Then it means that you are getting compromised. That's the case here. You're get, there's a fraud on your account at this time. So we have to work on okay. it accordingly. That's what you called for. And this is exactly what's happening here right now. So there is a fraud which is going on on your account at this time. And this fraud is a serious one because this is actually allowing the hackers to basically uh, steal the money from your account as well. Ferran nearly lost the victim there, but he was able to pull it back just in time. However, he still has access to the victim's computer and can therefore see his various balances. This means he will sound all the more convincing. That would be... a. Uh a card that I had, I guess. Right. So, uh, just try to check that and uh, see that, do you have the exact current balance right now of $141.15? I'm not going to check that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some other telephone calls. I'm saying goodbye now. So you don't have to make any telephone calls, sir. I'm taking care of this for you. You cannot make your calls because your phone lines are getting compromised right now. Do you understand this? But it's too late. The victim has hung up. Hello? My God. But Ferran had seen that the victim had a lot of money, so I knew that he would be very persistent from this point. So I called the victim to warn him. He turned out to be a U.S. Air Force veteran. How, how'd you get the phone number? I, I can see his computer and I can see everybody he's called. And I, I know see. you must have been oh, on the okay. phone for some time. Yeah, about two hours. Yep. Okay, that's, that's the reason why I've called you is most people have called in the same situation have bought gift cards and have had that money stolen. Oh. So, Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, I'll let you go. Thank you. 
Bye bye. Okay, thank you, Mr. Browning. No Take problem. Bye bye. But I had warned him that Ferran was likely to make other calls, and sure enough, it wasn't long before I saw him try to change his number. Now, his number is FTC. What do I put? Five two three nine four seven five. I put it. और ये नंबर से कॉल करूं अगर तो and now that he's changed his caller ID, he can make a call to the victim and pretend to be from the FTC. But he'll attempt to change his accent so that the victim doesn't recognize that it's just the same guy again. Have a listen to this. Okay, my name is Jason Cooper and I'm calling from FTC. I have received uh, some notifications from uh, the Microsoft that you were having hacking problems is that right say again over are you saying that your own bank is trying to hack you i understand i'm not understanding what you're saying it sounds like your own bank is going to find you what's that i'm saying are you is your are own you speaking bank, english is your own bank hacking you right now is that that's what i'm asking you that's none of your business. I'm calling the FBI. I'm getting this. You're already now. you're already talking Goodbye. you're already talking to FTC. This is Federal Trade Commission talking to you. Why do you want to call anywhere? I'm going to because I don't know I don't believe you. I'm gonna I'm gonna call the FTC myself at whatever number I can find and I don't want you to give it to me because I don't trust you. How's that sound? You're already giving it to FTC. You're already talking to FTC. Hey, kiss my ass. Goodbye. Game over, man. It's game over. And it's to try and defeat people like Fran that I have teamed up with the sponsor of this video, Guardio. Remember the pop-up that I showed you at the start of the video? Well, this is what happens when you've got Guardio installed. It's immediately and correctly identified as malicious. But it won't just stop malicious sites. One of the most common ways that people are scammed is via phishing emails. And Guardio is superb at identifying and blocking these sites. But combine that with how easy it is to install on all of your electronic devices and you have a very good way of defeating scammers. So head on over to guard.io forward slash gym and you will get 7 days for free and 20% off. And don't forget, this covers 5 of your family members. And now back to defeating Ferran scams. Here he is on a different day trying to get his victim to buy gift cards. Yes, sir. Did you go to Home Depot? No, I didn't go to Home Depot. Where are you? I'm home. So, what? why are you not in Home Depot? What am I supposed to do at Home Depot? Yes, I told you that you'd have to go there. For? So that you can charge your card. Why do I want to charge my card at Home Depot? A very good question. Scammers don't want to use the word gift card because people will catch on it's a scam. So what does Fran actually want this woman to do? Okay. So we are doing to we are going to do that job of transferring your money from your compromised account to your secured account. I do not need that money. Why would I need your money? No, I understand, but I just want to make sure that how do I know that you're not somebody else saying your citizens bank, but you you know and just doing this. That's all I'm asking. How can anyone have this phone number if they're not from Citizens Bank? You tell me this clearly. You have a number displaying you on your phone which is exactly the same number that would be at the back of your card as well. You can cross check it and confirm it and make sure that every digit is just the same. But we've all just seen how easy it is for Ferran to spoof phone numbers. Never ever trust a phone number on your caller ID. It still could be anyone. Right? Okay. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. So can we go ahead and yeah. let's get started with it? and get going and let's take care of this money part for you yes all right so get all your essentials get your driver's license get your uh, debit card and then head towards home depot okay but when he hung up with the victim i took the opportunity to very quickly give her a call and warn her that the whole thing was a scam hello 
Hello. Hello. Uh, my name's Jim Browning. The person you were just speaking to is a scammer. I don't know if you're aware of that. They're pretending to okay. be your bank. Yes. Okay. You, you, do you are you aware that that whole thing about no. home, home Depot is a scam? I'll not play the whole phone call, but suffice to say, she was grateful for the warning. But I wouldn't be so lucky in the next one. My name is Ron White, and I'm calling from Chase Bank. How are you doing today? Good. Well, not so good. <laughs> I've. <laughs> All right. It'll... I've had enough. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. <laughs> I understand that. Well. Uh, your case files have been transferred to me by uh, Apple. Apparently, both Apple and Microsoft send him case files when he works in his bedroom Chase Bank. Issues that you are facing on your account, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, they. Uh, I spent the last three or four hours with Apple, mm. and evidently, my account has been, or my uh, Wi-Fi has been hacked mm -hmm. and i've had all kinds of um uh whatever the hell you call it but uh right now i'm looking at my bank account it doesn't look like there's been anything there mm -hmm. that's been um taken out or with my squab account so right right see basically uh you won't be able to see the things happening on your account yourself you know so it's not going to happen in front of you Oh, I won't. Yes. It's not going to happen in front of you. You will not be able to see that, but still, there will be if there, are, if there is a fraud on your account. Well, it's not convenient. There are no fraudulent transactions visible to the victim, but it will be up to Ferran to explain how he's going to safeguard his account. He'll use the victim's zip code to figure out where his nearest Home Depot is. So we have to be oh, extra okay. careful. So how well, we have to check out your accounts and we have to make sure that your accounts are working absolutely all right in order to make sure that there is no fraud going on with it right now. You cannot okay. conclude it yourself that uh, 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 there's nothing wrong with it, you know. But for this scam to work, Ferran needs to scare the victim into doing his bidding. You can see that there's a charge which has been made today early in the morning at 6.30 a.m. Uh, on your credit card uh, for Chase Bank, and uh, it was uh, made for $10,000. Of course, he's just making all of this up. Oh, my God, you're yes, kidding. Sir. And uh, this charge... Well, somebody has hacked into yes, it. Yes, this charge was made on your credit card oh. and uh, at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and this, if I want to check it out, I can check it out for you and see where it went to. $10,000 uh, has been already taken out of your account, so you don't have those $10,000 oh. anymore. And uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that you get that $10,000 back because you just don't want to lose the money like that, right? I mean, it's your hard-earned money. You don't want to just lose it like that, right? And Ferran comes up with a solution for reverting the money back to this man's account. Uh, I'm trying to think how, which one is closest. Yeah, Home Depot uh, is, Home I guess. Depot. Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot is, I yeah. guess, only two, two, three miles from where you are. It's uh, yeah. uh, in 95758. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I need to go to Home Depot. Yes, and you have to uh, go there and you have to swipe your card for 10000 and you have to get in return the Home Depot gift cards, okay? Now, unfortunately for me, Farhan was keeping this victim on his cell phone, so I couldn't get through to him. So my only option was to contact the Home Depot, which I could see on Farhan's computer screen, and ask them to intervene. But the long and short of it is, I can overhear a scammer instructing a person very close by, who's within five minutes drive uh, in uh, Elk Grove, to buy $10,000 worth of gift cards. And I can't get through to him because he's constantly on the phone with the scammer. He's got the phone in his pocket. And I know he's about to go into your store to buy $10,000 worth of those gift cards. Would you be able to help him? Okay. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> no, because we won't sell somebody that many gift cards. <laughs> well, that, that's a good thing. We have a but, limit. That's way lower than that. Basically, <laughs> he needs. To, I can't get a message through to him to say that he is being scammed. 
if someone could mm-hmm. identify him and say, you've got a phone in your pocket, that is not Chase Bank, that is a scammer. If you could get that message to him somehow, hopefully he can go to the police because he's being scammed. Okay. Okay, I would really All appreciate right. your help with this. Sure. I will certainly try. Okay. I, I do not know the man's name. I do recognize your voice. It's kind of do weird. You? <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm amazed with that. But if you've seen any of my work today, you know it's not some prank or anything. Yes, like yes, I do. Okay. All right. well, thank you I very do. much. Really appreciate your help. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. And a few minutes later, I could hear Ferran giving some last-minute instructions to the victim who was outside the Home Depot store. Okay, please do not talk to me while you are inside. Only talk to me when you come outside. So keep me, keep me in your hand. Yeah, keep me in your hand or keep me in your pocket. That will be easier for you. And you already have my number. In case if we get disconnected, call me on that number, okay, which you have in your pocket. All right? Yes, I will. Yes, 661 number. Call me on that in case if we get disconnected and keep me on the line just the way as we are and make sure that you are telling them you need $10,000 worth of Home Depot gift cards and you need it for early Christmas shopping for you and your family, okay? Yeah, I got it. All right, best of luck, sir. Just come out there as soon as possible. Thank you. Talk to me when you're outside. And amazingly, because Ferran was listening to the conversations, I could also hear this conversation inside the Home Depot store. Hi, Gio. Hi, how are you? What's your name, sir? Jim. How do you pronounce your name? Gio, G-E-O. Yeah, kind of almost Italian-ish, but not really, right? Hey, so uh, the person... Yeah, I've got six kids, mm-hmm. and they're all coming down here for Christmas, and I wanted to get... Yeah, them. so I already got a call from somebody that you're... This is a scam you're not. We don't sell that many gift cards in the first place. Um, the gentleman that called said that you probably received a call or speaking to somebody from GS Bank. That's not GS Bank. You would go to the It's a scam. It's not real. Okay. I'm a 80 year old man. I know. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I heard about it before. <laughs> All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. But unfortunately, this victim's ordeal isn't over yet as he gets back on the phone with the scammer. Jim? Can you hear me? This Tim? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. You know what they just told me? Uh-huh. What did they tell you? It was, this is, they said this is, this is a scam. Yeah, and the reason... They just had a call from somebody. Yeah, and the reason why they told you about it is because uh, uh, you told them that you are facing a scam right now. I told you strictly not no, to I tell didn't. them anything I... about what's going on. Hey, would you listen to me? I didn't I heard the call. Thing. I heard the I call. About... I, heard, I heard everything you what did... he said. I heard it. Listen, I'm going to tell you one goddamn thing. I'm telling you the straight out truth. And I did not say anything about a scam. They are the ones that told me about a scam. Yeah, but you said that I, I am facing a I scam. 10, That's what you said. I'm uh, I did I'm, not. I'm facing a scam oh, and there is bullshit. something which is going on there. That's what you told them. I did not tell them a damn thing. Nothing. Why would they tell you uh, anything I is a scam? Did not te- why would they tell you what is? Why would they tell you what is scam? Why would they say what is scam? They told me. They just said to me that they didn't sell anything more than a two thousand dollar gift card. She, I told her I have six kids come to Christmas and I wanted to give each one of them uh, uh, gift cards. And so she went to her supervisor, and her supervisor then went to another person, a guy by the name of Gio, and he said, I just got a call, and he said, this is a scam. Okay, I never so said let me tell you that, that. Uh, okay, let me tell you and, that uh, basically these hackers are staying one step ahead of us. 
and they are probably taping our conversation and that's why they are aware about it and they are calling them beforehand so you have to be extra careful in that and you have to let them know that whatever it is just make sure that you uh you know you just uh get it for 2000 if you can from there if it is possible tell them that you need it for yourself but if you have already told them something else then that would be difficult i have not told them anything else and i cannot go back in there because all three of the people that look like supervisors are standing around as this man tells me this is a goddamn scam yeah, that's no, what I'm only... saying. If they are saying that, if they are telling you that, then this means that this is basically uh, something which these hackers have done, you know, on your case. Well, unless they're unless they are listening to our conversation on this phone, I don't know how the hell they would know. Yes, the phone lines could be compromised. That's what I'm saying. You have to be extra careful and you have to make it look like a regular normal transaction. So you have to now head to another Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever you have near you. And that's where you have to get the transaction done. Well, I am in the car and I will go to another Home Depot and get it done there. Unbelievably, despite the victim being warned it was a scam, he's now willing to go to another store to get more gift cards. Faran has talked him around. Then you can just go to a Home Depot and then if, uh, uh, you know, they don't give you the complete 10,000, uh, then just take whatever they can give you and then the rest of it we can get from Lowe's. Okay? Okay. But make sure this time when you go there, uh, you are just telling them that you want to uh, get All the cards. All I am telling uh, them cards. is for Christmas. Yes. I am not saying a word about a scam yes. or anything. Yes, yes. Don't don't try to say that because these hackers, if they are one step ahead of us, they will try to just uh, you know change everything. And just make sure that you are heading there as soon as possible. Once you, uh, how much time do you think it'll take for you to reach to that store? Probably 10 minutes. 10 minutes, all right. I'll wait for you. Just uh, let me know when you are there, okay? So sadly, at this point, I felt I needed a bit of help. I often work with the AVA Outreach Group who are used to dealing with victims, and I felt this case was one where they could really help me. They're an entirely non-profit group of people who volunteer their time and services to help people like Tim. They were able to bombard Tim's phone with messages about a scam and they eventually got through and spoke to him. They convinced him to block all of Ferran's calls and from that moment he was safe. But I was only disrupting Ferran's scams while I was waiting for the police to act. I'd reported him to his local police service in Ghaziabad and eventually, after a few weeks, I didn't see Ferran's laptop come back to life again. What I don't know for sure is whether the police actually arrested him or not. I've certainly passed on all of his personal details, including his home address, but I don't know if I'll know for sure whether he was definitely locked up as a result. But even if he wasn't arrested, I hope that this video will put him off scamming and maybe even a few other scammers for life. And finally, if you would like to help me fight scammers, there's a few ways you can do this. Firstly, if you're not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe and bell icon. Hitting the like button is your way of recommending these videos to other people on YouTube. YouTube will often not monetize these sorts of videos, so you can support me on Patreon. There's a link here and it's in the description. Alternatively, coffee keeps me going, so there's a link to get me a coffee if you so wish. I'm on Twitter, TikTok and LinkedIn, so you can follow me there too. Lastly, thanks for all your support and see you on the next one.